when I first saw you at the gym, um, and I saw you at the gym, you were in the Stairmaster, and I looked over and I was like, wow. <laughs> and I saw you, I was like, whoa, okay, That's I gotta I talk to I didn't see her. you though. No, no, right? you, I was just like, <laughs> no. no, cause I, if, when I'm working out, I'm no, like. No, you, fo you were focused. Yeah. And, and it was funny cause I saw your uh, ex-boyfriend and cause he saw me looking at you. Oh, Welcome to Oh Honey Podcast, where you get the sticky and the sweet with Summer and Amanda Woo! and Johannes Battle. Yeah, Wait, that's how you say it. Battle. Yeah. Battle. 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 Not battle. 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 Like water bottle. Water, water bottle. bottle. Close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Johannes yep. is a celebrity trainer. The whole time can we echo he's like just the like random person? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, but very amazing random person <laughs> so like, that we love. <laughs> um, he is a personal trainer, mm -hmm. uh, fitness instructor. You have bodybybartle.com, mm -hmm. bartle.com. Correct. It's spelled B-A-R-T-L. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and yeah, you're coming out with your new app. Correct, yeah. Which is super wow. exciting. It might already be out. Who knows? Who's to say? Check the links below. But yeah. I'm, yeah, super no, I'm super proud of you. Thank you. Thank it's you. It's amazing. Yeah. And you works hard. Yeah, um, that's what I do. Yeah, uh, <laughs> bottle, bottle that's what I do. Is, yeah, is yeah the the website right now where you can find like different workout plans and stuff. And the app is my baby right now because I put a lot of energy. I've and, seen it. So yeah, much work into it. So much time and like I really thought every single workout through. Um, and yeah, like I'm I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Building your own gym. That's so exciting. And whoop, that whoop, too, yeah. For us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we all use all the time. But you're in a stranger, so I don't know when, how that would happen. Yeah. <laughs> we had a role play. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so we're here to talk about love, life, relationships, and oh, honey. I love it. Oh, honey. Oh, oh honey. honey. Everybody has to say that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. Oh, oh honey. honey. Oh, that's how you say it. Oh, honey. Yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> But Johannes is my boyfriend for those who don't know. So <laughs> I know I, I wanted get right to, so I the role plays like over. Red, yeah. I wanted him to be a random stranger this whole time. <laughs> yeah. But he's amazing. I'm so proud of him. I'll let you ask the questions on this one, Summer. Here we go, Summer. <sighs> okay. You. Me ask the questions? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Did we already ask the questions? <laughs> Are you nervous now? All right, back to me. Back to me. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, okay, let me, let me, let me. She goes straight to the honey let pot. Let me see it. Let me see it. Uh, uh. What's it like being a foreigner to LA? I mean, we're all kind of foreigners to LA, but to the States, you're a um, foreigner. Yeah, so Johannes, yeah. tell your okay, story. Okay, so, so basically, um, for everybody who doesn't know, I'm from Austria. I moved to the US in 2014, went to acting school for a year. Um, and I was on my student visa, which is basically, yeah, you have to go to school, otherwise you have to go back to your Get country. Get out of here. Exactly. Right. After that one year, I got my OPT, which is um, an optional practical training, which is a work permit for one year. But you're only allowed to work in that field of studies. So for me, it was acting. So I was allowed to act or at least try. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's then, a rough industry. Yeah, it's a rough industry. So, I, I mean, I was aware of that. I knew it's going to be tough, especially for me because my English wasn't perfect at that time. Still working on it, but yeah. accent reduction class has paid off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Facts? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, so back then, like, I, I went on auditions every single day um, or at least, like, five, six times a week. And... Yeah, and I got a lot of no's, like every day. Nope, 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 mm -hmm. nope. Um, I was... Why no's, though? Because you sucked at acting, or was I it... don't know, it was just like a, a general... But you don't. Uh, yeah, I no, I, I, <laughs> thank you. Um, I think it was because I didn't have any credentials. I mm -hmm. didn't have any IMDb credits, so people were like, okay, what are your Sometimes IMDb? you just go into auditions, too, and it's like they have this thing in mind. They're like, all right, we want six foot four... Um, Long blonde black, hair, <laughs> long right. like, black they, hair. Then you, I show up. You might have even, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you might have even been a better actor than the guy, another guy, but he had brown eyes, and they and you have blue eyes, and they wanted brown eyes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's and like sometimes it's. Know. I thought like one role that was. I thought okay, that's mine because it was for a German soldier, and I was like, 
Yeah. Hello. And here, here's the funny thing. So I took accent reduction classes for like a year, three times a week, and I really wanted to get rid of my accent. Why? And then I, because like have I have an accent. <laughs> but I, I wanted to like, you know, I knew if I want to live here, I need to be able to speak the language, and I want to be, you know, part of the community, like of, of like mm -hmm. everybody. So I don't want to be like that one guy who doesn't speak English, especially if I want to move here. So, anyways, I went to that uh, to that audition super confident i was like german soldier come on like mm -hmm. i just That's talk like this and it's good um, <laughs> and is that austria though yeah the f people say things like this and uh, then we yes. would we would just say that and that sounds I, like our editor jan <laughs> <laughs> we he's love from, you though yeah he's from germany and he's gonna be saying this yeah. <laughs> yes, I went in on that audition and I did my accent. Like I just, I tried to do my accent that I used to have. And she was like, can you do a little more? And I'm like, and then I got nervous. I'm like, what do you mean more? She's like, your English is, is fine. We need more German accent in this. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot how to do it. And I didn't get the role because, I, because accent reduction, accent reduction, Paid off. So yeah, it made me forget. Oh, how to do it made it. me forget it's how so to funny that, speak like, with an accent. The thing you hated most and like you wanted to get rid of. Yeah, exactly. That's a good lesson. So sometimes, um, especially for Anna Schwartz, like it, it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> when everybody's like, no, you don't even speak the language. He's like, I don't care. Like I just do it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It's like, well, I guess it makes it stand out, I guess, too, from everybody else that's going in. Mm -hmm. Keep your accents, people. Exactly, yeah. It kind of reminds me of, like, the other podcast we just talked about. Like, you know, like, people are insecure about some feature, so then mm -hmm. they go get it fixed. And yeah. then it's like, if you didn't get that fixed, it probably would have opened more doors. Yeah. Exactly, you know, yeah. so just 100%. embrace you, you know? Uh, totally agree. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, no, no, but it's great. And I think it was it was meant to be because that was another no for me. And at some point, um, like, I got so frustrated that I was like, what should I do? And then that was exactly the time when I met you and, like, everybody else. And you guys, and especially you, introduced me to social media that this is like a whole new world and I was like I was basically your your student <laughs> I was like it's like welcome yeah I was like welcome, welcome to, to 1600 <laughs> exactly yeah, today today we will I'm be done. going over relationship goals and relationship <laughs> issues you will be an actor because I have a boyfriend <laughs> yeah no I no, met him was, when I exactly. knew you when he had a boyfriend yeah mm -hmm. um yeah so so you're like he's kind of cute but I have a boyfriend <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, when I first. But that I, showed you. That showed you. That though, shows you how good. loyal she is. So now you can Absolutely. Trust her. No, that's. Yeah. that's. I don't, I don't want to like switch too many yeah. stories because then I'll forget. But. Um, I'll go back. Don't worry. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that was one thing. Like when I first saw you at the gym, um, and I saw you at the gym, you were in the Stairmaster. What was she wearing? Um, it that's was like the, 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 sh the short shorts, the turquoise, turquoise shorts. Oh. Remember? Yeah, wow. yeah, I know. That and you just uh, had a, my a least bra. Favorite ones. Yeah. <laughs> like, imagine if I had my favorite ones on. Oh, and, I, and I saw, and you had like your ponytail was pretty high. And I looked over and I was like, wow. <laughs> and I saw you, I was like, whoa, okay, That's I got to I didn't to her. see you though. No, no, right? you, I was just like, <laughs> no. No, because when I'm working out, I'm no, like. No, you, you were focused. Yeah, and, I, and it was funny because I saw your uh, ex boyfriend and because he saw me looking at you. And he looked at me, I was like, oopsie, that must be the boyfriend. <laughs> you like, you're like, uh, Julie, yeah. and then you look over and you see him. Like, He's like, <laughs> He's like, all right, um, nope. Yeah, <laughs> but that, that's when I first saw you and I was like, wow, I need to talk to you at some point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, which we did at, the, at a party. Was it at Logan's birthday party? Yeah. I mean, we, we met before that. Yeah, yeah. When I well, swooped in. It was yeah. <laughs> So I was I was outside playing. Um, I had this mission to learn how to juggle a soccer ball, <laughs> and so I was like, okay. I was outside like every day, just like kicking a soccer ball, just Super like trying, cute, to, <laughs> trying to juggle it. I just suck at it. And um, my boyfriend was with me at the time because trying to teach me how to juggle a soccer ball. And then Johannes Watts walks up with George Shanko and always George. George, George, and George, who else? George, Mark. George, I think it was just George and me. No, there's. Oh yeah, I think it was. I too. think Mark stopped by later because he saw us, but like yeah. it was just George and I. And then um, Johannes walks up. I was like, "Oh, hi, nice to meet you." And you had a little bit more of an accent yeah, then too. Yeah, big time. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, where are you from? Uh, Sweden?" <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like Austria. I'm like, "Huh, oh, okay." <laughs> 
Where she was Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, I'm more familiar. Where she was Sweden. Yeah. And then um, he started, he's like, oh, you're playing some soccer? <laughs> and I had to show off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to play soccer? Yeah. Okay. You're like, let me teach you how to do this. Yeah. yeah. And then that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. It would nothing like really happened, but uh, but it was just cool because then I first you know talked to you and I was like, okay, cool, that's that's yeah. the first step. And I, I I really liked you at that point. I was like, okay, cool, she has a boyfriend, that's fine. But I just want to get to know you better, um, which I did. I feel like this is a rap song. <laughs> girlfriend, it's, and it's like R and B. I know you got a girlfriend, but I want to know you better. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Here we go. <laughs> and then. And then yeah. Um, it's fun, fun hearing this perspective. Uh-huh. Yeah, from then on, I think we um, started working together. So now back to the initial like <laughs> thought process that I had, like how I got here. Um, and then we started shooting more videos together, and I, I learned a lot from you, like immediately, like editing and this and how fast it needs to be, because um, it's so different from acting school. Like right. social media, it's like. Completely different. Completely the, the yeah. opposite. Uh, not opposite, but so different. Because mm-hmm. um, in acting school, you if know. If you did an acting scene on social media, people would just be like, whoop. Yeah, okay. be like, right. delete, exactly. they'd yeah. be like, unfollow, delete, block. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. All everything. of the above. If, everything. <laughs> um, and yeah, we, we started shooting more. And that was basically my, thanks to you, my, um, my way into social media which opened so many doors for me, for everybody who's out there, like from outside the US. This was my door to get like a permit, my O1 talent visa, just in case someone's wondering. Yeah, um, which is, by the way, a huge process. It's it's not easy. I saw it him takes, go through that. Yeah, and well, I, I you was- You got it on Thanksgiving. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember That's, that. Go um, ahead. That was, I think, the hardest thing for me ever because I was scared because I didn't know like if social media is gonna you know ever gonna help me achieve my goal to just stay in the country that's not even like mm-hmm. you know money or this or that it's just being able to live in the country that you love and that you want to live in um so I had that constant I don't want to say fear but I had it in the, had it in the uh, back of my head like always that thought like whenever, you know, someone, mm-hmm. um, I remember when Mark was like, hey, let's do this, let's do that. And I'm like, no, um, I, I got to work on this visa thing. And you can ask him today, like he's really like, oh, he was the most annoying guy ever. Because yeah. everything I said was, Talked no, I have. Mark, Mark Donor, yeah. Oh, Mark Donor, yeah, yeah. good friend. Um, and so, yeah, I was constantly working on that. And when when I finally got it, I was with him and I, I started crying because I was so happy because yeah. it was I have a video of you. Yeah, we were dating at that time, though, yeah. when you got that. Because I have a video of him. Like, he sleeps freely. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a video. He gets the call, and I want to record the moment. And then he, like, jumps out of bed. He's so happy. He's on the phone. He's, like, sitting on the couch. I'm like, yay. And I'm like, oh, you are naked, you are naked in this video. <laughs> you was... cannot share this with your, your, well, you could with your mom, I guess. Nah, nah, nah. Like, no, I don't want to thank you. She's seen it. She doesn't care. <laughs> That's true. Um, but yeah, that was that was a, a beautiful, beautiful moment. And I was so happy that I just busted out in tears because yeah. I didn't expect it that I will get the call because it was like three days or two days before Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, I think yeah. it was a Friday. I, no, I don't know what it was. You were just stressed out over the I was thing. just stressed anyways. And uh, then I was like, okay, I'm not going to get a yes or no because, yeah, the holidays, blah, blah, blah. And then they called me and they didn't say anything. They said, hey, Johannes, uh, this is, I forgot her name, whatever, the lawyer. I forgot her name. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Whatever. Um, yeah, I have someone else on the line, and I'm like, yep. His eyes are already watering. He's I'm like, like, I'm like so nervous. My heart stopped. I, I got up. I was like on the phone, yep. Mm-hmm. And I walked away, and I think that's when you knew, oh, that must be the lawyer. I'm like. Because <laughs> I didn't even. <laughs> are you getting your phone ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm just recording, <laughs> looking um, away. And then, yeah, so this is, oh, whatever. It's just <laughs> another person on the line. And I'm like, okay, we have good news. And I'm like, you got your old one. <gasps> Did you scream? Yeah, I think I did. Did you I helicopter know. dick? <laughs> you should have. <laughs> <laughs> I did. For the green card. 
For the, for the green gun, then I'll do it. Yeah. For the green gun, I'll yeah. helicopter. Yeah. You can yeah. record it. <laughs> you can record it when that comes. But what I love about it is all a lot of hard work. Like every single day, that's all on his mind, just working so hard every day and just not like do, doing it the easy way, you mm -hmm. know? And it's like, or the. I think you have a lot of strong morals, and I think you work really hard, and you earn that visa, and Thank you're you, gonna yeah. earn that green card. A hundred percent, yeah. Not That's amazing. through, not through me. No, no that was, um, yeah. Everybody like knows that. Like, you know, some people come to the to the U.S. They just marry someone, and then they immediately get a green card, right. like yeah. within a month or two. That's the easy way. But I've never... But by the way, no shame on them because no. that sucks. The system sucks with how hard it is for people to come to this country. Like Absolutely, yeah. And I feel it's, like yeah. we don't even realize how blessed we are to be. This we made don't ever me have realize. To work. Yeah, because me, I have no idea. I've never yeah. really had to witness anyone going through that. So it's like we don't even realize how like Lucky we blessed are. we are, privileged. Yeah. Like, that's in, that's insane. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. like you said, no shame on anybody who says, hey, uh, I, I you know, met my girlfriend here or my boyfriend or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they get married and they do that. Mm -hmm. um, that's totally fine for me. Like you mentioned, it's just mm -hmm. for me, I just wanted to prove myself that I'm worthy and I'm talented enough to work hard and actually get that, get it by myself without, mm -hmm. I don't want to say without help because I got a lot of help, but you know what I mean? Like yeah, I've worked for it. Yes. And with opportunity comes a lot of work that you have to put in to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So. And also, like, there's something to say about what gets you to the door of opportunity, too. Mm -hmm. It's all about, like, timing and preparation, so. Yeah. And that's, like, a super inspiring message because I'm sure a lot of people who want to move here follow you, and that's so inspiring. It's, like, gives them hope that they can also yeah, do it. Yeah, because there's, I'm sure there's kids at home in Austria being, like, how do I get to the U.S.? Because yeah. I have no idea. So just move to LA. Go as a beautiful. I go to the gym. Find a beautiful girlfriend. That uh, is doing. That's wearing shorts. little blue turquoise shorts, shorts. <laughs> on a stairmaster because we all love those. <laughs> I was probably like climbing the Burj Khalifa or something mm -hmm. on there. That's what it was. Three hundred uh, steps. I have flights. Oh, fl flights. Was yeah. it steps or flights? Flights. Flights. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, steps will be too easy. Yeah, yeah three yeah. steps. It's like, one, okay, done. Two, done. Yeah. One, two, well. Yeah. Yeah. But, so. And then we're thinking about getting a doggy. Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah, so it's going to take your relationship to the next level. You I guys know. are going to have a child together. I Basically. Know. That's what it is. You want to tell so them what dogs kind of dog like we want? Kids. No, we'll keep it a secret. Secret? For now. Okay. Yeah. Secret, it's going to be secret. the cutest little secret. puppy ever. Summer already has three dogs, so she has three babies already. Hey guys, I'm a busy mother. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a really hardworking yeah. mom. Like, I kids are at home. She doesn't bring them to work. <laughs> uh, I know. Amanda would literally die. die. Yeah. Remember we were talking about that? I said that earlier. Really, yeah. Today I had like a little drink, like a little shot, and it's turmeric. And I guess I turmeric. spilled it. Yeah, that's what it Key was. Keyword. Turmeric, very and I yellow, very strong. Walked up the stairs, and, and I guess I dropped, dropped some. I don't know. I'm really messy. no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, oh, so the oh, first oh, thing that oh. happened was <laughs> I'm like, let's wear our new like fabulous robes, and um, <laughs> then I look at Summer's butt because you know, and then uh, you know. and then there was a big yellow mark on it. I was like, what happened there? And then she's like, oh, I um, it was there when I put it on. <laughs> Because I was like, look but at this. But to my defense, and then, there's three mirrors up in her hallway. Mm. And I, when I put it on right away, I walked out and I looked in the mirror. So I was like, sure, what is this? So sure it wasn't her, right? Yeah, I was, so like, she was like, positive it wasn't me. It was because there, when would I have had time to do that that oh, quickly? When, when did you have time? It blows my mind. <laughs> and then she's like, when would I have time to do that? Okay, you didn't say that. But you're like, it wasn't me. It definitely wasn't me. It was on the rope when I put it on. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I don't believe In her you. head, she's like this little lion asshole. <laughs> no, I, I told you. I was like, that she's sounds like, interesting, like an interesting story, but I don't fully believe you. But okay. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll, that, we'll, we'll go with that. There's no other oh, proof. Oh, you're like, oh, honey. <laughs> oh, honey. There's no other proof. And then, and then I was walking upstairs to my meeting, and I saw a little trail of yellow. And I'm like, oh, let me just get this off really easily. And it's like stained into the staircase. And I'm like, huh, yellow on the staircase. And then Johannes comes up and I, of course, yell for Johannes first. <laughs> Johannes! <laughs> comes running up the stairs. Yep, what up? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there's yellow on the staircase. 
how did that happen? He's like, it was summer. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh so just really? Threw me right under the bus, just like I that. I mean, I'm not gonna take the blame for it. Yeah, he was like, it wasn't me. It was summer. She had a yellow drink. I was like, she had a yellow drink, and then I went downstairs. I'm like, summer. Put all the pieces together. An <laughs> aha moment. So Have that's room. that's summer alone. That's summer every day, whether she knows it yet or not. But it's great. No, I know. I'm really messy. Yeah. Oh, honey, it's time for our sweet sponsor, Bombas. How often do you think about your socks? If you're like, I used to be, not much. But I recently discovered socks that change the way I'll think about socks forever. They're called Bombas. I know what you're thinking, they're just socks, right? Wrong. We are on our feet all day long and why not be comfortable? Our shoes, our socks, everything affects that. So get yourself a great pair of socks, get yourself some Bombas. My pair is red, comfy, cute, and they fit perfectly and they show just enough, just the way I like them. They are made from super soft, natural cotton, and every pair comes with arch support, a seamless toe, and cushioned footbed that's comfy, but not too thick. With many colors, patterns, length, and styles, Bombas look great in the gym, at the office, and out of town. And for every Bombas purchase you make, Bombas donates a pair to somebody in need. Comfort and philanthropy? You guys know I love that. And you should too. So buy your Bombas at bombas.com slash honey today and get 20% off your first purchase. That's bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash honey for 20% off. Bombas.com slash honey. All right, let's dive into the honey pot. Oh yeah, honey I'm excited pot. about that. So this is so basically where... you get like um, letters from fans, right? Yes. Okay. To diary at ohoneydiary.com, and we read them and give them advice. Cool. Our best advice. We're not experts. Disclaimers, Disclaimers. always. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely not experts on any of this, but we're your friends and we're helping you out the best we can. Okay. Love it. Trying. Yeah, trying. <laughs> A for effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never understood that saying. Like you get a gray A for grade A for effort, but it should be like E, e, for, e, e for effort. E for effort. Uh, All right. Well. Anyway. Yeah, that, that I always think about that too. It should be E for effort. It's confusing. That's what we should say. E for effort. It's misspelled. Okay, but it, I get it. It's like you get an A instead of an F. Of an for F. the effort. Yeah. But I think it's like you e. know you failed. Like whatever task it was, you basically failed at it, but you get an A for your effort trying doing it. Oh, okay, but we're, we're thinking of like A yeah, for like Amanda, A, S it, yeah, for I Summer. Know, I know. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Exactly Question number fish. one. Here New phrase E for effort. Okay. Hi. So. I, <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> my so voice sorry. is going, hi. Okay. Hi. So I am in my mid 20s and I started dating someone who is a few years older and is divorced and has a child. I really like the guy. I but I've never dated someone with, lack for a better word, baggage. Do you think it's a good idea to pursue the relationship or to end it just because he has a kid? What if we end up staying together and then I have to raise a kid? I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. My friends still go to clubs and we like to do fun young things, but also he's the first guy I've met who I've really connected with. Help. That's a really good question. Um. First of all, wow, that's tough because she said that she has a really good connection with him, right? Which is, I think, really important. important. Um, in mid-20s, and he's a little bit older. As a as child. A, yeah. Um, Divorce. I think, I, yeah, I mean, that, that that doesn't say anything, I think, about it because, like, they, you know, he probably... It's better than married. Exactly. Yeah, like married. Exactly, because yeah. he was not happy or she or whatever wasn't happy in the in the marriage anymore then it was like okay we have to separate and find new love but like to answer that question um she also said that her friends are partying a lot and it sounds like she wants to party too which is not an obstacle like he shouldn't be an obstacle if she wants to go party with her friends and do 
so-called young things, if she has a really good connection with him, I think there is no problem with that, like, you know, staying with that gentleman and be like, okay, there might be something for the future. Um, but I, I just address you, like, but <laughs> if you, if you, if you can handle this and be like, okay, he already has a child, um, that's something you have to ask yourself because like nobody can answer that for you. Because there are some people who will be like, no, I'd rather have a family, you know, it's, you know, it's my child or whatever. And there are some people who are like, yeah, no, I totally accept that and I can handle that, that there is a child from another woman in the family or whatever, right? right. Does it make sense? I don't know. No, 100% makes sense. Because <laughs> yeah. I think that's certain people would be okay with that someone. Yeah, but, you know, I feel like good humans, like, accept uh, kids normally, right? Like I, know, I would sometimes say, when you're in your mid twenty, you might not want a kid, you know, like so. It's a lot not, of responsibility, exactly. but it shouldn't be her responsibility. No, no, that's the thing. It's like yes, he has a kid, but it's shared custody. I'm sure with his wife. I'm mm -hmm. assuming, mm -hmm. um, but I would say it's not her sole responsibility to raise this child. Yeah, she's going to be this child is going to be a part of her life, but she doesn't have to take the full responsibility of everything. She can take on tasks and like being a good role model. Yeah. And I think that's the only concern there. But if it's shared custody, when the child is with the other family, go out and do your fun young things exactly, and then yeah. Yeah. come back and be a good role model for the kid when you're around the child. Yeah, I totally yeah, agree. Yeah. I don't see a, a problem in like with having both like this, you know, adult whatever relationship and then still being young and just going out and having fun. Mm -hmm. I also think timing is super important. So if you're still wanting to, I think sometimes when going out, going to clubs and partying, just going wild, like that comes with also like sometimes being in a relationship isn't the best thing. I'm sure he's not going to want to be with her going out, doing that all the time. Mm -hmm. And maybe she is just doing it for having fun. But sometimes, you know, when you're that young, you're not that in control sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it's just timing. I think just get that. I would say if I was her sister, I would just be like, hey, go out, be young, be free, have fun. Like, well, right, because the way she's like, we like to do young things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's already calling them <laughs> what? old. Like, that's yeah. like, they're yeah. old, he has a kid, I want to do young things. <laughs> he's really not young. that much older. And the fact that he has a kid, I'm sure he's so fun. Like, people have yeah. kids, and I have friends that have kids that they go out when they want to. They just get a sitter, and they go out and still live their own life because mm -hmm. a child shouldn't make it so you have no life anymore. No, that's what, like, the but. world we live, like, it's, like, brainwashed people think, oh, I have a kid. Oh, I'm older now. I can never have fun. It's, like, what? There's no, like, there's no time limit on fun. You can always mm -hmm. have a good time. Like, yeah. not, not, and to me, having a good time isn't going to the club, partying. Like, yeah. I have the best time when I'm not doing that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's, like, that doesn't determine having a good time going to the club and partying. That's actually the worst time. To yeah. 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 I'm, like, no, oh, God, I hate it. <laughs> it's just that you don't even have a conversation. It's just loud music. Yeah, but, there's so many other ways there. to have fun, you yeah. know? So many other ways, like. That's not even a way. But sometimes to going to the club is fun because you're like, it hey, on, like, let's the go mood I'm crazy. In. Let's yeah, go out. Yeah, like let loose, yeah. yeah. And celebrate and it's always yeah. about anything in life for me. It could be like the funnest thing ever, but if you're not in good company, it's not fun. The most important. That's like good company. So if I'm like with really good friends and we're all going out and we're having, that could be fun. But yeah. going to the club could be fun. It's yeah. like com good company. So I feel like good. there's like mother advice to this mm. and I feel like there's sister advice to this. So mother advice would be, huh, like, he has a child. Clubs aren't the best thing for you anyway, yeah. sweetheart. And maybe this like, will make you grow up a little bit. <laughs> I think it's great that she connected with him. Be friends with him. You can have a friendship connect connection. Get that fun. Get that party out of your life or out of your gonna, system. Yeah, because then if you don't, you're going to regret it later. And then yeah. you're going to never be happy in a relationship because you're going to ruin it because you're going to be out partying and stuff. And he's going to be like, wait, I thought yeah. I was committed to Yeah, even if you're not planning on like hooking up with people or whatever, it's just commitment wise. Like, yeah. just go. He's at a different like probably mindset and he probably wants to raise a child together. Maybe that's her concern. She feels that seriousness of it. Yeah, and that she's might not be ready. pressure from him too. Like, we don't know that, but might be that, hey, yeah, I would love for you to move in with Be my us. wife. Yeah. Be the mother. Will you because, be my wife. And he, she's like, no, 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 I'm still a kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. So it's, 
when it comes down to it, it's also, it's just like a personal thing to her. It's like, okay, yeah. like, do you want to still be a kid and party with your friends and have no responsibilities? Or do you want to be with a guy who's obviously older and already been married, so he's already, he wants a commitment and he has a kid. And he's obviously, even if he's not a lot older, he's mindset because he's been through more. Mm. He's going to be mentally more in a different place. And he's probably done with partying. Like, yeah. when he's older, you know. Like, I mean, I, I feel it too. Like, when I was younger, I loved partying. Like, All yeah. right. Well, I think we answered that one. Mm-hmm. Let's do a number two. Question oh, honey. Two. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Hey, guys. I am seeing this chick, and she is really awesome. But the problem is that she comes from a really wealthy family, and I come from a really poor family. I am still trying to pay off student loans and debt, and she lives a really luxurious lifestyle. Is this relation going to work long term? I don't know how I can keep up with her lifestyle and paying for really nice meals at restaurants, etc. Should I just give up trying to keep up? What? Stop trying? Should I just no, no, give no. up trying? No. That's literally what it says. I, should I just give up trying to keep up? Yeah. Yeah. I said it. Yeah, I yeah, know. I was just like... Oh my God. Read it right? I read it right. Trust me. <laughs> it I was right. It like that. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> she gets really self-conscious yeah, about she, the reading part. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, I reverse it. I read it before. I'm like, is there any words that I won't be able to pronounce because I'm going to get it over now? Okay. I'm like, this is <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Just don't say that. Um, so first of all, like... No, don't. No, don't. Don't stop. Like, if you really love her, do your best to make her happy but uh, not even and I'm pretty sure if she loves you she's not gonna just you know if she's used to the wealthy lifestyle and she ch chose you and I'm pretty sure she knows that he has like student you know loans to pay back doesn't probably he she probably knows he doesn't come yeah she, she come probably from knows from that so well. so don't worry too much about it but keep you know keep working hard to make yourself you know, that not I don't want to say same level, but like work yourself up there so you Let can... Let it inspire you. Yeah, yeah. Use it as a motivation to be like, okay, I want to be able to, you know, take care of her. I want to be able to pay for those meals, those expensive meals, those gifts, like whatever it is. Like work your, your way up there and I'm pretty sure she will see that and acknowledge that and it's going to mean way more when she sees how hard you work yeah. and then make her happy. Instead of you already have the money and you're just like it's easy here. Here, yeah, you want that? Yeah, yeah. here, boom. Yeah, because that it's yeah. romantic. It's like I built this for you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And for me. <laughs> yeah, and maybe she's the type of girl like where she already has everything and she's not looking for a guy that can give her stuff. Like maybe she's looking for love. Like because a girl who yeah. already is comes from a wealthy family, she already has nice things. She already has everything. So if she wants it, she could go ask her dad probably for it. Mm -hmm. So maybe she wants to be with someone because she really loves him. Thank you. And wants to be with him. And yeah, it's not absolutely. about the money. You yeah, know? I'm pretty sure she, she is mind. with you mm -hmm. for other reasons than money, like what it sounds like. Um, so don't stress too much, but like you said in a, in a beautiful way, let it inspire you, motivate you to work harder and even more to get to the point where you're going to be like, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. But I understand the pressure, I'm sure, because yeah. he probably wants to not change her lifestyle and they probably want to go to like nice places and he's the man who wants to pay for it. But then he's like, oh crap, like this is not on my pay grade. <laughs> I would say though, don't not do anything. Still just do really sweet things, do really like creative things, like thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Like that's what's really gonna stand out to her. Yeah, because that's like what I was saying, she already has all the nice yeah. meals and all the nicest things. Like what she probably wants is a heartfelt, like she a guy that trying. home cooked meal. Yeah. <laughs> she wants that card. With uh, the she, she wants a piece of marks at not the even end. a card. Cards are expensive nowadays. Sometimes I buy no, them. I'm like ten dollars. No, yeah, she he just get a piece of paper, yeah. fold it in half, write on it. Okay. Like you know those things for Thanksgiving, you just draw your hand. Oh, and you cut, cut it out. out. That's a great. <laughs> That's one. perfect. No, don't but like, do that. <laughs> don't what about do that, when you no. fold the piece of paper and you just like draw this and then you no cut heart. it and it's a heart? Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. <laughs> like, get creative with it. Go on Pinterest. Yeah. Pinterest is No, but there's so 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 many like I don't want to say easy ways, but. If, if your budget doesn't allow like big gifts yet, why not buy beautiful flowers, you know, or a Pick beautiful them. candle. Or Steal like, them from the neighbors. Yeah, do that. I mean, it's always like the thought that counts. You're like, being you serious. Don't, yeah. Just go to the corner store and buy like a little lollipop and put like, I love you on it. Like like mm. a little thing. That's so cute to me. I'm like going to lick it and be like, oh, <laughs> your sister's your dick. Just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, maybe it will be after you get that yeah, know, number. Right. Wow, okay, I'm going to get a lot of <laughs> Go get a lollipop. You're like, like, you're like, this could be you, and it might be because this is really sweet. <laughs> I think also just date nights and stuff are cute. Well, mm -hmm. and it doesn't even have to be going places. It can yeah. literally be you make a little fort. Oh my God, that'd be the cutest thing in like the living room if you make a little yeah. fort and then you're like watching like a movie or something. Oh my God. I think the summary and, like, here oh. is like the amount of time that's put into the gift versus the amount of money that's put into yeah. the gift. Time is worth way more than money. Right, like, and if she's the type of girl who's like, oh, I don't want, you don't want that girl anyways, you know? So it's like, if she enjoys that and she's happy with that, that then she's a keeper. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Feel like More nowadays like, it's split half and half. Like a lot of couples that I've come across with, it's not like oh the guys only pays. Like yeah. it's like more like because everything's so expensive and stuff nowadays, and a lot of young kids can't even afford their own stuff. Now the guys are like, eh. mm -hmm. it's yeah. kind of like oh I'll pay also, for this. Also like oh, women are getting that. like better opportunities now just because of like the whole woman empowerment movement, which we love. Um, but women are making more money too to where they can pay their part. So it's like they're not so like relying on guys and it makes them feel good of like being independent and taking care of themselves. And also just And you're still gonna have those old school people who want guys to pay and yeah. everything, but Yeah, it's all it's all preference, right? Yeah. And but I always at least about always life. offer for girls, I right. think. At least it's like the offer. And, and the guys. Beautiful, and the beautiful thing about life is that you can choose what you want. So if you're with a guy and he's not paying for you and you want a guy to pay for you. Go find a guy Go who wants to pay someone. you. There's if always someone. If, <laughs> that, that's the beautiful thing about life. If you're not happy, don't be with them. If yeah. you want a guy who you guys split stuff, be with that guy. It's like mm. we're not ever like locked into anything. You what know? is that? Like There's can, like the five. Unless you're married to them. I mean, that's kind of. You're a little locked. <laughs> you're, you're a little, a little locked in. That's something you, you figure out. That's not something you get a divorce over. That's yeah. a little crazy <laughs> and evil. Yeah. Oh, well, you're yeah. not paying for me. I'm. Done. Unless unless the person is just super lazy and mooching like the whole life, then that's another situation. There's but there's mm. so many like rules exceptions. Yeah. Like it's just like you could literally bust your brain all day thinking about all the what ifs. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of guys want to know from you too is like how to have that confidence with like because you're bald, right? Mm -hmm. And you rock it and you look yeah. so good. Thank you. Bald bottle. <laughs> bald bottle. <laughs> bald by bottle. <laughs> bald by bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm you should come that. out with like, yeah. a, like a hair, like oh, something for your head, like a shine or something. 100%. Yeah. We're going to do that. Link yeah, in get, bio. <laughs> get ready. Link in bio by the time. <laughs> but like a lot of guys are self conscious about that. Yeah, I get that a lot. And I share that with you all the time because I think it's so, like, it over, it's, it's overwhelming to see how many guys don't have the confidence when they lose hair. And I, one, I, I don't think I ever showed you that message. I got one message, it was a little aggressive, but, um, but still in my mind, it's like, that's people's perspective sometimes. He's like, how can you have such a beautiful girlfriend? I said that in a nice way, he said it in a little different way. How can you have <laughs> such a beautiful girlfriend? You are effing bald, dude. And I'm like, <sighs> Whoa. I'm Who's that like, guy? Find him? Like, I'm like, Like, add wow. him right now. <laughs> wow. I was yeah. like, people really think that It was a guy all, that said it too, right? Yeah, it was a guy. Like, he was, pro I don't know what, I didn't check out his profile, but I was like, maybe he's balding too, or maybe he has thick hair and he doesn't have such a beautiful girlfriend. Now he's jealous because he's like, but I have thick hair. Why don't I have a girlfriend? But I have luscious I locks. Know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But for me, it's, it's, it's crazy that so many guys have issues with that because if, when you think about it, it's just hair and it doesn't define who you are. Um, the word li it's like just I, protein. Yeah, <laughs> just like, yeah. It's just and at thought, some like, parts of hair, our bodies, yeah, we shave such hair a weird concept. and on some <laughs> you know, parts, it's, it's cool to have mm -hmm. hair. So for me, like I couldn't change it. I just embraced it. And for some reason, um, when I was younger, I had a feeling, I don't know why, and I said to myself, because I saw guys with like, you know, when they try to hide it, mm -hmm. and I was like, that looks so bad. Like, why don't you rock it? You look at look at the rock. Yeah. Super powerful, He's bald. man. Uh, Jason Statham. Bald. Bald. Vin Diesel. Bald. 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 Yeah. <laughs> bald. Yeah. Bald. Bald. Um, and those are all like. But I couldn't even super picture masculine, Johannes with hair. Huh? I couldn't even picture you with hair. Yeah, I like the baldness. With hair, it would look weird to me. I don't he, know. Maybe it's because like, I've seen him like, I've seen him with hair. I shaved his head yeah, for the first time. Yep. 
yep. for a video. What, mm -hmm. I just can't even. Can you picture him with hair now? I she mean, saw me. She, she met me but with does hair. It look, does it look better bald? It, it would be weird. Yeah, I think it, it looks way, way better I bald. I think he looks good. I feel like you. Sh I didn't even know. He was you, like too. I thought you wanted to be bald. I didn't know that you even like shaved your head. Like I thought you were like shaving your head because you like to be bald. I didn't know you couldn't grow hair. He was like thinning a little bit. Hundred percent. Yeah. And then I'm like. That's that's that that was the reason why I did it because I um so back in the days like I don't know a couple five six seven years ago I did it just because I wanted it so I just shaved my head and I was like oh awesome I like this it's a cool feeling and I just wanted to see how it looks um, and then I had for some reason I don't know why I wanted long hair so I had like really I showed you a picture mm -hmm. right like really long hair and it was thick too and I was like cool so I had that and in my head you know everybody has like checklists kind of like right, okay I've done this. There. You know, I jumped out of an airplane, check. And for you me, it was like, I wanted long hair, check. And I'm glad I did it because now I wouldn't be able to do it anymore. <laughs> be like one piece? Yeah, one piece, like right here. It's like, yeah. look, long hair, one <laughs> long it's hair. It's like Smeagol. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so then, uh, yeah, then then I, I, I saw it and I felt it. And I was like, okay, I'm thinning. Like my hair is like receding. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to try to hide it. Um, cause I'm aware Abby of it. Abby wears a hat. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I wear a hat, off, no. bro. <laughs> and, um, so, so I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'll just shave it. Cause it's not getting better. Like, and trying to hide it is kind of like, oh, I want to hold on to being young where I have thick hair. And I was like, nah, let's just do it. And then I asked Amanda, I was like, hey, Amanda, do you want to shoot a video? Mm. Um, she's like, yeah, what is it? And I was like, I would love your help. Can you shave my head? Is this when you guys were dating or not dating? No, no, no. We were no, friends. She had a boyfriend back then. Uh -huh. But that was like the part where we started shooting together. And that was like one of the first videos that I Yeah, I thought you guys were I dating created. for so long. Like when you guys like announced it, I was like, I knew it. You're like, I knew it. Because I've well, seen we you guys were, together so We were dating so for much. a while before we announced it too. Yeah. No, that's right. what I'm saying. You guys yeah. are like, I would see you guys together all the time. I'm like, they have to be yeah. living together or like something. Like, because you yeah. guys are like together every single but second. But what I love. I'm like, you guys are not fooling me. Yeah. yeah. I know. I what know. I, what something. I loved like about this feeling. whole yeah. journey was that we started as friends. And I, I like, we got to know each other for like a very long time. Mm -hmm. Like very long time. So you knew about stuff that not everybody knows that I didn't share with too many people. Um, and I learned about you and then we've been together for so long, like just shooting content and like just, you know, working together. Um, but yeah, then after a while, I think it just evolved into more. And mm -hmm. we were like, hey, this is, this is great. This is more than just friendship. And that's why I love our relationship so much because it's not just physical attraction. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously there was a, I mean, for me, the beginning was a wow. obviously, <laughs> but it the relationship is based on more than just oh she's hot oh he's hot you know yeah. like it's it's more and I think that it's important that what made me most attracted to you was how kind you were, how sweet you are, and how much respect you have for people and how hardworking and passionate you are. Mm -hmm. Like that's it's just. It's so important. Like I could never be with somebody who is just like not motivated. And the fact that you are care so much, like that's the first thing when people ask me about you. I'm like, he's the sweetest guy. He's she so does nice. Say that. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he's so sweet. But when you meet him, you see it. No, and you're no, like, oh, no, he's just like one of the sweetest guys. Yeah. Ever, yeah. It's always and genuine. You know, there's a lot of nice guys. And yeah. It's like, you're not really nice. Yeah, you just <laughs> see. He's actually nice. You see it in his eyes. Like, he just wants the He's so the genuine. Best. He really cares. Like, yeah. he's a lot of passion. Yeah. And it's like, and I know it's like someone that I can like fully trust with everything. And, and it's the thing of like, it's always about respect. And it's like the fact that we could be friends before we dated just shows that we truly do like each other. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like we know so much about each other and then we're that comfortable and we respect each other as friends and we are able to keep a friendship because of that. And then what brings me comfort there is like, you never know what the future holds, but like, you know, I, I see a very bright future for us, but like, I, you're always gonna be in my life no matter what. So if you guys want his workout plans, it's www.bodybybottle.com. And he has amazing plans, app, all that. Check it out. We'll put the links below for you guys to make it super easy. And make sure you subscribe to the Oh Honey podcast. And we have a bunch of links below. 
And for, thumbs up this video if you're watching it. Yes, do that too. And diary at ohoneydiary.com to put and in your submissions. You can also listen to us on Spotify and iTunes. So you can take yeah. us on the road with you. Yeah, yeah. Or listen to us at the that. gym. <gasps> That's why I always want to bring in the jingles. Do like, Body oh, by Boss Hall at the gym. And while listening, listening to, us. to this podcast. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys. We love you so much. And thank you for always listening and watching. You guys are amazing. Our little king and queen bees. We love Mwah. you. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, honey.